WrestleMania 40 is in the books. We have moved on to Backlash, and we got the news of WrestleMania 41, which will be taking place April 19th and 20th in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we got to talk about it. Why? Because I think it's time we, we change the road to WrestleMania. And here's here's what I mean. The the road has been the same every single time. The usual road has been Roy Rumble in January, the Elimination Chamber, and before that, No Way Out in February and March was WrestleMania. Bang, bang, bang. One, two, three. Occasionally, you would get something like a New Year's Revolution or a Day One early in the year if 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 um. If January had, you know, four or five Saturdays, but we can change that now. The road has been the same and I and I, I don't hate it. It's fine, but we can we can change it. January being the Royal Rumble, letting us know where we start off has always been standard. You know what I mean? We get hyped for the Royal Rumble. When the Royal Rumble arrives, we know it's time for WrestleMania. In between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, we have the Elimination Chamber or No Way Out. I prefer No Way Out. We don't need the Chamber anymore. Um, but that's how it's been. And then we get to WrestleMania. And it's usually like a six-week buildup into WrestleMania. But we can change that. And I'm hoping WWE does that when we got the announcement of wrestlemania 41 so why the change in my opinion well, it was very simple wrestlemania 40 was cold so let me take that back night one of wrestlemania 40 was cold i am i am from philadelphia born and raised i went to wrestlemania night one was cold night two wasn't and the thing is you are not going to explicitly exclude the northeast corridor from WrestleMania. You're just not. Nick Khan can say everything that he wants and that he doesn't want to mishap of the cold. But remember, one of WrestleMania's it rained because you were in Florida. You're not going to exclude the largest metropolitan area in the country. You're just not. You're not going to exclude Philly, New York, Baltimore, DC, Boston. You're just not. So by moving the shows to a later date in April, you could avoid some of that coldness too. Change is good. It 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 is. We got used to it with the draft. We've gotten used to it with so many other things when it comes to professional wrestling that change is good. We can accept it. We can we can let it permeate and marinate on our mind. And lastly, the change becomes less predictable. Um, at this point, when we when we have the road to WrestleMania, we have the Royal Rumble, and and what what you essentially have is you have the winners of the Royal Rumble saying who they're going to face, but you have a whole pay per view in between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. I don't I don't I don't need the Rumble winners saying who they're going to face. Draw it out. The road becomes less predictable when you have more time. Uh, from the beginning of the year up until WrestleMania. So how does the new road look? How does it shake out? Well, starting the year in mid-January, we have New Year's Revolution. We start with that. We start with New Year's Revolution. Um, NXT does New Year's Evil. WWE needs to do New Year's Revolution. Bring back that pay-per-view. So now you have that in the middle of January. So let's say... Let's say the change happened this year, right? So you would have New Year's Revolution, let's say January 13th. You do New Year's Revolution, 13th or 14th, because there to be doesn't run any pay-per-views in December anymore, so you have time to build up to another event. And then in late February, you have the Royal Rumble. So if New Year's Revolution took place on the 13th or the 14th, you would have the Royal Rumble, let's say, February 17th. So now that gives you one, two, three, four, four, about four to five weeks between New Year's Revolution and the Royal Rumble. Bam. Lock it in. 
and then mid March you either have no way out or fast lane. Get rid of the chamber. It's it's been devalued. I know you need some need to sell something for the foreign markets, but you don't need the chamber anymore. So if, if the rumble is February seventeenth, we have no way out or fast lane. Let's say. March 16th right there in the middle or or even the 23rd let's go one two three four let's go March 16th so now you have March 16th that's Saturday no way out right and then Wrestlemania how when does Wrestlemania fall so if, if it's the 16th you go late April so you go let's see we have the 16th 23rd 30th 6th 13th 20th that's one, two, three, four, five, five weeks up until WrestleMania. Hell, you could even run it the 17th and make it six weeks into WrestleMania. So let's say we run WrestleMania April 27th and 28th. So here in Philadelphia, that was a beautiful weekend. So now you have six weeks between mid-March and late April for WrestleMania. Mania, and I like that schedule. And some will say, "Well, it's too close to SummerSlam." You have May, April, June, July. You still have four months in between WrestleMania and SummerSlam. And to to get over the doldrums of the summer, you run the King of the Ring tournament. You make it an annual event that means something. That's what we do for the Road to WrestleMania that's how you fix it that's how you change it because like i said you're not going to exclude you're not going to exclude the northeast corridor from wrestlemania wrestlemania is going to be back in philly at some point it's going to be back in new york it's going to be in boston if you move it to a later date like you're doing this like you're doing with wrestlemania 41 in vegas things will get better but let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think about this change in the road to wrestlemania i am all for it um i think it's good but come back later this week well tomorrow we got a flashback friday we got the high risk wrestling podcast things are good i'll see you when i see you peace